Hello YouTube, I got something a little bit different today. Something that I wouldn't normally do an unboxing of, but I found it for $30, brand new, and I was like, I have to add this to the Is It Worth It channel, because, well, let's just go ahead and take a look. So, here we are, bought this thing, brand spanking new, 30 bucks, and I was like, there's no way it's like the actual real deal Craftsman, because these things are like $120, or it depends on where you find them. If you get it without the battery, just the tool, it's like 70 bucks, but this one has tool, battery, charger, carrying bag, and those are like normally well over $100, and I found it for 30 and I was like, maybe it's a scam but it wasn't so let's well 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 i haven't opened it yet so it may still be there there may be a husky in there uh as in home depot's brand of tools or even worse there might be a harbor freight just kidding we'll we'll take a look open this thing up let's see. all right there we go got that side undone let's take a look here so I wanted to do this unboxing video with one of my buddies who works in construction. And he was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not very good on camera. And I was like, you just have to give your opinion on it. That's all. And he was like, my opinion is by DeWalt. So there you have it. Someone who works in construction, he says to buy DeWalt. Now, I'm putting this on the, uh, the channel because it was so cheap. My family uses Makita tools. I have some Makita tools. They're very expensive though. Good quality, they work well. I've done a bunch of projects with Makita tools. They work great, they're fantastic, but they're expensive. So I'm taking a look at this thing right here. Little manual. All right, we got the tool. There it is, legit craftsman tool. Super heavy, nice, nice, half inch uh, chuck, neat, charger, and finally the battery, oh, it's own separate little bag, nice. Not charged at all, alright, so that's excellent, that's excellent. So the reason I was looking though for Craftsman tools, because it's not something I normally shop for, but someone gave me this Craftsman impact driver, but it didn't come with a battery. So it was very useless because it, it doesn't even work. So I had to get a battery. But these things are like $50. And I was like, I'm not spending $50 on just a battery. So I was looking around, trying to see what I can find. And then this whole brand new set came up on my radar for $30. So I got that another eBay purchase. If it was on wish.com, it would have probably been a cheap Chinese knockoff of a craftsman tool, like uh, the, I, the i15 Pro Max and the i14 Pro Maxes that, that were the knockoffs of the actual iPhone Pro Maxes. And as we found out from those videos, they were absolute garbage. Like it wasn't even, the only thing about it that was like a Pro Max was that they kind of looked like a Pro Max, but otherwise they weren't even close. But these are these are actual Craftsman tools, um, hefty. They they do look really nice though. I have to admit. So Craftsman did a uh, on their power tools. They did like a facelift. I don't know what else you would call it. But we used to have some Craftsman drills that were like from like ten years ago, and they they looked cheap. I'll see if I can find a picture of the old tools and then do like a side by side comparison of a picture. But like, I'm not sure these are much better built, but it's textured. Like you have a, a place here to rest your thumb. Then you have a, a very comfortable feeling grip here. You have these extra screws, which probably are just for looks and do nothing, but they give it a, a industrial rigid sort of look. You have this black rubber around the red plastic here on the back, which is just entirely for looks. But it does look cool. It makes it look tankier. And same down here in the base. You have all this black rubber around this plastic base. And that's, pro that's good for like if you were to drop it, it will help reduce the impact on the tool. And it's, it's, uh, it's textured too. Got a nice little, uh, little grippy textured edge. But that all, makes it, that all makes it look cool. 
And so when you have just a simple tool made entirely out of plastic, no rubber, just molded out of one piece, smooth, rounded corners and everything like that, it may, the internals may be better, but on the outside, you look at it and you're like, yeah, I'm not going to buy that. Like the drill master tools from Harbor Freight. Those you can buy. I'm fairly certain you can buy one of those for $30, but you just look at it and it looks like it was manufactured in China for 25 cents. So I don't really have much more to say about this. I can't even test it until I charge the battery. And when I test it, I know what's going to happen. I'm just going to put this on here and then pull the trigger and the thing's going to spin. So I'm not, I don't have any projects that I'm working on right now. I have nothing to build, but it is nice to just have it around in case something comes up. You're like, oh man. I could really use an impact driver because these screws are jammed and it will help pull the screw out. Would be nice if someone I knew had one and be like, boom, there's one right here. You can borrow it. I don't care. And I'm thinking for like my buddy who works in construction, right? He uses DeWalt tools. DeWalt has a big ecosystem. They have a million tools that are all powered by the same battery. Super useful for construction. But the reason we de I decided to go ahead and get one of these so that I can use both of these tools is right now I have almost no use for these. So if I want to screw something into the wall or the ceiling or um, build a small box, disassemble my bed frame, whatever, these will be more than enough. If I was going to be building a shed or house remodels, you're going to want something that's going to last a lot longer, something more durable. But if you ever find a power tool set for 30 bucks and it's not Drill Master from Harbor Freight, I would probably recommend getting it because it's it's something good to have in case you do need it, even if it's rarely used. In the is it worth it opinion, it's good to have available in case you need it. All right, that is all. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day or night or whatever time it is.